Welcome to the Sportsman's Notebook with Butch Bertman on channels 10 and 13. Hello and welcome to the show today. We've got a good one for you. Today we're going to head up to northern Minnesota to beautiful Pelican Lake. This is a 12,000 acre lake with 50 islands and it's located up near Orr, Minnesota. On today's show, uh, we're going to do a variety of different fishing. Uh, I'll tell you what, this lake has got everything in it. It's got largemouth, smallmouth, uh, bluegill, crappie, northern pike, and walleye. So it's got everything. And we're, we'll be fishing out of Birch Forest Lodge Resort on the south side of the lake. And uh, I'll tell you what, we had a lot of action, lots of fun. Stay tuned. We'll be right back after a quick word from our sponsors. Lots of crappies in here. Right down on the bottom. Yep. My fishing partner is Adam Van Tassel, owner operator of a pika, Birch Forest Lodge, with another fish on. Just having fun. Under the boat now. Bring them out. Oh yeah, another nice pike. Yeah, they're down there snapping them crappies up. Yeah, they got to feed on something too. Yep. Okay, so we don't break the line here. I think it's a big smallmouth. That's another nice thing about Pelican Lake. It's a variety of fish. Oh, it's a beauty. They love these rock piles, don't they? Yep, all over in there. Oh, yes. Fighting till the end. Yep, there we go. Good specimen. All right. Yep, that's a beauty. Yeah, they sure fight. Trying to break water. Oh, nice smallmouth. Yep. Nice jump. They're they're at their prime right now, you know, Adam. So they're. That's why you like smallmouth. The way they jump like that. Jumpers. Yeah. Oops. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nice fish. Yeah. Go get his dad. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Go tell your family. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I'm gonna bring him on up. It's under the boat. Coming up. <clears throat> All right, guy, come on. There we go. Oh, yeah, decent Look at fish. that crappie. Oh, yeah. That's what we like to see in the fall. Oh, 12 incher. Yeah. Nice. Nice Pelican Lake crappie. There you go. That's what we're looking for. Beautiful. Got a decent one, Adam. Just jigging over the side. Oh, yeah. It's a nice one. Nothing wrong with crappie like this anywhere. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. Oh yeah. Look at that slab. Isn't that something? Yeah, that's a beautiful fish. Oh, beautiful. All right. We're having fun now. All righty. Boy, sometimes they hit so light. All right, let's test and see if it's on there. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, we got it. You got them, good. Hook is set. Looks like a decent one. Coming up. Oh yeah, nice fish. There we go. Well, you know, that's the nice thing about Pelican Lake, Adam, is you bring kids out here too, and gr grown-ups too. <laughs> and, uh, you know, you put a bobber on, 
How much go. fun? How much fun? Swimming back have? down. I uh, got a double. Ooh, double, double. Ooh, it's yours nice is bigger. One. Nice one. What's wrong with that one? Oh boy, that's a 13 incher there. Yeah, beautiful crappies. Yep, you got a lot to offer your customers. Yeah, nice full of them. Yep, that's for sure. Oh yeah, nice, nice crappie. Nice crappie. <laughs> Normal size, big yeah. size. <laughs> Bring it in. Come on. All right. Oh, diving a little bit. There we oh, go. Boy. Come on up. We're having fun. Oh, nice there we average. Go. There we go. Average size is running nice. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, they are pretty, you know. Something yeah. about a crappie, it's just the coloring, just gorgeous. And good eating. Very good eating. Okay. Bigger than a bluegill, I'll tell you that. Well, that's the nice, ooh, yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. Nice smallmouth. All right. That color. Boy, they're pretty, aren't they? The color. Here we are fishing for crappie and bluegill, and these things come along and tear you up. Yeah. Nice color on them. Pretty. <laughs> Ooh, Adam, I, I got something. I don't know if it's a big crappie or something bigger. <laughs> My rod's been up pretty good. Oh boy, I'll tell you, what a day, huh? Beautiful weather. Oh, I got one on over here too. All right. Not real big. This could Not be. Not like yours is. That uh, might be a pike. Yep, that's what it is. Nice, yeah, nice northern. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's the thing about fishing for these crappies. And big northerns are down there feeding on them. You got a nice crappie? Okay. Oh, nice one. Beautiful. Yep, I tell you, Pelican Lake and something else, it's got such a variety of fish. Yeah. Nice, beautiful crappie. Yep. All right, buddy. We'll get this beautiful northern here in a second. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. Big and thick there. Nice and thick. Yeah. Yeah. Nice fish. Good fight. Yeah. Good. He unhooked himself, too, so <laughs> we let him go. All right. Good action. Well, that worked out nice. <laughs> there we go, Adam. What you got over there? Got a little weight to him. Yeah, rod's been over pretty well. Yeah. Ooh, nice smallmouth. Oh yeah, look at that. Beautiful. Yeah, I'll tell you, you never know what you're gonna hook in pelican here. No, but your odds of a big bass pelican are pretty good. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. Oh, yeah. Nice. Beautiful fish. Nice fat, too. Yeah, nice healthy looking. fish. Nice, healthy fish, you know, so they're getting all fat. They're prime. Okay. All right, he's diving a little bit. All right. A little bigger than the crappie, I think. A little bigger. Fighting more than the crappie do. Could be a Light nice action uh, rod here. Nice northern or walleye, or it could be a, a nice smallmouth. You get a glimpse right there. Look at that. It's a bass. Oh, it's a nice smallmouth. Woo! Oh, nice All right. smallmouth. Try and give one last shake. You got one last dive in them. Yep. Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah, there's another nice smallmouth. Beautiful. Good fighters, aren't they? Yep. Sure put up a battle. Gave it everything he had. Pelican Lake. A lot of fish. A 
Oh, it's pretty though, ain't it? Oh, wow. He hammered this one too. Oh, get him out of that weed. <laughs> oh boy, it's a nice one. Oh, I got half the lake. <laughs> Take half the lake with that one. Oh boy, nice fish though. That's the nice thing about a pelican, you know, you're fishing smallmouth for out in the reefs there and then you come back in here and along the shoreline and catch really nice largemouth. Oh, look at him. Isn't that something? What a sight. <laughs> oh. He was hovering right over my tube. Oh. Something. It's either a big northern pike or, oh, it's a nice bass. Oh, yes. Oh boy, oh yeah, that there, a hog. that's a nice, nice specimen. They call them hogs down the south, but beautiful. All right, boy, they're healthy. I'll tell you, this lake has got some feed in it. Adam, how long have you had the resort and what's your background? So we just finished up our third year of ownership here at Birch Forest Lodge. Uh, our background is I have a degree in hotel restaurant management. I came up the area as a dock boy 17 years ago. Fell in love with the area, fell in love with the fishing, and just kept coming back summer for summer trying to find a way to get our own resort. Yeah, Adam, how many uh, cabins do you have? And, and I know that you're going to build a new one here. So, uh, yeah, it's a really a nice setup. Yeah, so we currently have 11 cabins and one room. They vary from two to three and one bedroom cabins. And you're right, we did just barely start construction on a new cabin. We put footings in this week, poured concrete. When it's finished this spring, we'll have a new four bedroom, two bathroom cabin. Yeah, Adam, you've got a great setup for both the family and the serious fishermen up here on Pelican Lake. Yeah, you know, Butch, you're correct there. We looked all over the country when we were looking for resorts and came back here to Minnesota because we liked the fishing here, we liked the area. And as we looked at resorts, we thought this had the best overall setup. We have the lake already here, the fishing's there, you know, guys like to go out, they catch walleye, crappie, bass, northern whatever, here stay in the cabins. The thing that makes us really special and unique is we're really well set up for families as well. We have a marina here, but separate from that, we have a whole nother bay that's just for swimming. Nice sandy beach here, we've got a playground area, we on-site activities, things like disc golf, beanbag area, we have a whole game room for kids playing, a pool table, air hockey, foosball, ping pong, that sort of thing. A really nice place if, Everybody's not quite into getting on the lake every day. They just want someone to relax and play and hang out as a family. So we do a lot of that in the summer as well, family reunion business. It's really a nice setup for us. You know, another thing, Adam, up here uh, in this area, you've got a lot of different things going on. You've got the Voyagers National Park, and you've got a lot of interesting places. You're correct. I mean, there's a lot of things for people to do around here. Voyager National Park is a beautiful national park. You can travel by boat and go up there and see things. You can hike in the edges of it. You've got Crane Lake, you've got the whole Vermilion Gorge system there and Vermilion Falls. And then right here in Orr, we have a very unique thing for people to see, the Vince Judy Wildlife Sanctuary, where you can go and see wild black bears. Um, and they're feeding them there. You can go in there and see them. You can take pictures of the bears. It's a great family thing. We have people go in there, they'll see 20, 30, 40, 50 bears sometimes, including the cubs, which is really fun for kids and families to see.
beautiful time of year. Oh, there's one. Oh, nice one. Oh. Oh. All right. Adam, finally we're into the biggies. Oh, nice. It's really pulling you down there. Oh. Boy, I'll tell you, there's some nice bass in this lake. Oh, it's a nice one too. Large mouth. Nice large mouth. Not a monster, but but a fighter. Good fighter and yeah, look at that. Look at the color on them. Beautiful. Okay. The shoreline looks good. Boy, them fall colors are beautiful too. Yep, doesn't get better than this. Hey, we got a double, Adam. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Boy, I'll tell you, this late fall fishing is fun, ain't it? Yes. They're very active. I don't know if What's... I got a walleye or a northern or what we got here. Oh, I can see mine now. Looks like I got a northern. You got a northern, huh? Let me see what I got here. Oh. Oh, I got a walleye. I got a nice walleye here. Beautiful. Oh, perfect. Oh, yeah, look at that fish. Oh, nice walleye. All right. Well, I tell you, they turn on in the fall, don't they? They do. As soon as that water temperature drops below a certain point, the walleye come back look, on. Look at, look at this, how fat they are. Yeah, nice, healthy fish. Aren't they nice? Just gorgeous fish. Pelican's got the best looking north, walleyes and northerns I've ever seen. Well, that's a nice fish. Not bad for a double, guys. All right. Oh, geez. Yeah, that's that's a good fish too. Well, Adam, uh, you know, in the fall fishing like this, you know, we're only one on the lake. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the thing, you know, there's some duck hunters out here, but that's about it. But, you know, the nice thing about fall is, you, you, you know, the activity of the fish before winter comes, they're very active. Yeah, you never know what you're going to catch. I know it. Both beautiful fish. All right, let's keep going. Okay, Jen. Yeah, let that one go. I'm going to keep that one for supper. Okay, I think I got some this time. All right. Way Feels go, good. Adam. Feels good. Hopefully it's a walleye. Oh, yeah, it's we pulling get, back down. Getting a lot of walleyes. I mean, we're getting a lot of northerns, but got one beautiful walleye. and now It's coming up a little bit. It's coming up. There oh, it's go. a nice. Oh yeah, look at that. There's a walleye. Yeah. Woo! All right. Just yeah. Give me a little bit of slack there, buddy. Thank you. Ooh. Beautiful fish. Wow. You talk about healthy walleyes. You don't get them much better than that. Jeez. Yep, Pelican Lake. You're lucky you got your cat a resort on this lake. <laughs> yeah. All sorts of good fishing here. Yep. Beautiful. Okay. Ooh, Adam, you just barely nice. touching it. Nice bend in the rod, though. Oh, good deal. What have we got now? That's the nice thing about a pelican. You never know what you're going to hook. Ooh, it's a nice walleye. Nice walleye. Oh, look at the beauty. Oh, beautiful fish. Oh, just a nice eater. Oh, yeah. Look at the nice color on that guy. Beautiful. Another good, healthy fish. Cool. Are they healthy? Just beautiful. <laughs> you got a mouth sticking up. All right. We're having a good day. Fall fishing, can't beat it. Oh boy, there's some nice ones in there. Yeah, this time of year, these fall crappies are a lot of fun. Boy, they're pretty. It's just amazing how wide our season is. I mean, all the way back there in August till now. Yeah, yeah, last time we were out here in August, 
you know, we were catching them like that, and, and uh, now we're catching them again. All right. Boy, they're down there. <laughs> what a crappie lake. Oh, nice Hog one. Hog that one. Another nice one. Beautiful. Yeah, nothing wrong with him. Nope, catch those all day. That's for sure. Great. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's show. We sure had a great time up here on beautiful Pelican Lake out of Orr, Minnesota. And I'll tell you what, you gotta come up and see this country up here. It's a, a beautiful uh, area. You've got everything you could ask for as far as wildlife and everything else, and the fishing's fantastic. Also, I'd like to thank my fishing partner, Adam Van Tassel from Birch Forest Lodge Resort. Uh, we'll give you his phone number and his website so you can come up and enjoy this great country also. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you again next week. If you're heading up to Lake Capitogama or up north, Stop at Norman's One Stop in Orr, Minnesota for fresh bait and all your information. I would like to give promotional considerations and special thanks to these fine sponsors. Check out my brand new website, butchfurtman.com. Thanks for watching Sportsman's Notebook. Tune in next week for more outdoor action.